Soccer Services and the Ad Council. We are back here on Soccer Extra Time live on 107.7 The Bronc and streaming live online at 107.7 TheBronc.com. Psych out, we're not doing Champions League right now because we have a special guest on our second ever edition of Who Are Ya? And we would like to introduce the new one of the newest members of the boys' basketball team, number 32, hailing from Nottingham, England, Tom Pereira. How's Tom, everybody doing tonight? Thank you for joining us. We do appreciate this. Um, so first on our Who Are You segment, tell us a little bit about yourself. Like where you come from, how the heck did you find you, especially coming all the way from England? Well, like you said, I come from a small, I come from a small town called Mansfield in Nottingham. Uh, you nobody's ever heard of it. So, um, and I, I, I played in Spain last year. So, um, the head coach Tommy Dempsey came out to see me play at the academy that I was at, and he liked he liked the style, and he thought that I could help the team for the next four years. All right. Well, we do obviously appreciate you coming all the way the heck from England. As you know, you are the second player from England to appear on our uh, good old Bronx basketball team, which we'll get into a little preview of their season later in the week, or later in the show for that matter. Um, but, uh, so, you're not only a big interest in basketball, because there'd be a weird reason why you're on the show. No, you're I'm a big soccer fan too. Football fan. That we, call, we, call, we do call it football here on soccer, extra time live. But, um, yeah. So, team. Uh, my favorite team is Real Madrid. I mean, um, I just follow my boy Cristiano. No. Uh, <laughs> right. You're all haters. Mm. That's that's fine. And they are what running third in the league. First now. First no, now. Yeah, they're well, they, right they, they they were like down at the bottom for a while. So you my know. boy Cristiano, top goal scorer. This is true. This is true. This is true. And you right. do have a a, a jer- I, I did see. One of your jerseys that you do have here is given to you from him. Yeah, yeah, it was a it was a gift at a game. He um like um I was in the VIP box and he came up to me and gave me a uh, course a, um, a special uh, edition with my name on the back. So I've got that with me. All right. So at least well at least you're a United fan, which does I am, it, yeah. it does help. So um I'm United at heart, but Real Madrid in the head. So obviously. <laughs> What you mean by saying that you're bandwagon? <laughs> Very funny. It's true though. Yeah. All right. So, um, so, you know, give us. We we kind of want to know since you're from England and you have grown up around the game for a while. Like, what are what are you some like great experiences? Like, what are your best memories? First stadium been to things like that. Yeah. Uh, well, I've been to I've been to the Theatre of Dreams, Old Trafford, uh, a few times. Um, I've been to well, I've been to my local Mansfield Town, but that's nothing special. That's what? Where are they? Right? No, I mean, like seriously, where are they actually? Like League Two, League One, uh, Conference National, just below League Second Two. Second tier. Okay. Our first. Yeah. Okay. All right. But when I used to play, when I used to play football, I was I was picked to play in the um, Nottingham Forest Football Academy. All right. When I was age thirteen, and uh, I was really good at both. Football and basketball, and the coaches wanted me to pick because I couldn't have time for both, so I chose basketball. So pretty much another Andy Murray, in a sense. He's, yeah. he, he, we I've seen many videos of him uh, in his warm-ups doing yeah, two, two, v two, two v two uh, foot tennis with not a soccer ball but a tennis ball on grass court. That's correct. So I gotta give it to him. Um, He's talented. He is talented. And I have told you this before, you do look a lot like him, that's <laughs> weird. But you do get back at me with your great impression of me last night, which we can't do that on air. It's a shame. It is a shame, but um, maybe some bonus feature time we can do that. Don't worry about it. Just a text from John D. out in uh, Gettysburg College. Thanks for listening in, John. We do appreciate it. Also, uh, send out to the Ziegler Lounge crew and the suite. Some of the sweet are listening in tonight. Uh, how's it going, Wags? Uh, we didn't give you a, we didn't give you a Chelsea shout out because I hate them. Okay, bye. And if Brian is still in there, we do know the MLS All Stars are the real World Cup champions, That's not Spain. Spain. Not that. Um. So yeah, so there's that. And now let's uh let's switch it over to uh 
basketball a little bit. Tell us about the season, the preseason for that matter. The preseason training is going fine right now. We, uh, we're working hard, two days, two days, uh, two training sessions every day. Uh, we had day off today, which was much needed. So, um, mm -hmm. and the team's looking really good. We're all, we're all in good shape. We're just uh, running through sets and plays right now. Um, uh, a week on Saturday, we got a scrimmage game against Seton Hall at their place. Oh. So that should be a good uh, insider to what we can what we can do with like how we can gel as a team. All right, and uh, the first official practice game is going to be against TCNJ on yeah, the sixth. That's going to be four p.m. right here at Alumni Gym. So y'all should come out. That's family weekend. Come check it out. First look of the team, and your first actual game is November twelfth, and that's up at UMass. Uh -huh. Correct. It's a tough place to play. For but, first game, yeah. And I believe, no, they didn't go to the tournament last year. No, they didn't. No, not last year. Um, but they have been several years before. Always a challenger for the A10. And what are you looking for the MAC this year? Oh, we've got. I mean, we haven't been ranked very high, but what we've been. In, uh, in team meetings, we've, uh, we've got high hopes for ourselves. We, yeah. we, we think we've got a team that can really push for the, the MAC championship and the, and the championship this year. Yeah, uh, definitely with Siena obviously losing a couple of their big players, you do have to look at Fairfield being one of the favorites because mm -hmm. they have pretty much their, they right they right. Have their entire lineup back for this year except for uh, Anthony Peanut Johnson. Um, and then you guys, Sienna, Niagara's got a bunch of their team back. I think yeah. Garrison's still back yeah, for another yeah. year. So, you know, it, it, it's about time that we've had, like, a really good competitive conference. It's about time we got ourselves back over there. And finally, the tournament is not in Siena. Yeah, which, and what's better, it's in Fairfield because I live in Fairfield. <laughs> so that means I'm going to be there the whole oh, time. Oh, it's kind of good. It's oh, easy. God. It is easy for me. 